let us download Oracle software. Go to oracle.com, choose downloads and click on Oracle database. Accept the license and scroll down to 11G release 2. Here we have multiple OS packages but we want to download for Linux 64-bit version. You can click on file 1 and file 2 to start download but let us click on see all. Once again accept the license agreement. Here the first two files are database software files. You can just click on each file and download will start. I am not downloading these files as I already have these files on my system. For your practice, you will have to download both these files. Now that we will start playing with Oracle database, let me tell you the Linux server configuration I will be using in this course. I recommend using the same VirtualBox machine configuration for your practice as well. This will help you to be with me on the same page. In case you are not aware of how to set up your Linux server, please enroll into our free course Foundation for DBA. So here we are using VirtualBox as our virtualization platform. I have already created a virtual machine with below configuration. In case you are familiar with VMware, you can go ahead and configure same on it. I have installed OEL 6.5 64-bit version allocated 2 GB RAM and 50 GB hard disk and going forward we will be installing the Oracle 11G 64-bit version for Linux on our virtual machine. Before installing Oracle software we need to perform some prerequisite steps. Log into your Linux machine and check for the host name. My Linux server host name is ogprod.oraclegenesis.com you might have a different host name on your system depending upon what you set while installation. Now we will start with prerequisite steps one by one. First, we have to check the free space on Linux server where we will install the Oracle software. Let's figure out the disk space on my Linux machine. You can check the free disk space by typing df-h. We can see good free space under root location. Let's create two directories under root mkdir slash u01 enter and mkdir slash u02 great u01 is where we will install oracle and u02 is where we will copy the files which we downloaded in last lesson. Let us start copying the downloaded files to our Linux machine. Start WinSCP. Give your Linux server details. In my case, it is 49.2.71.90. And I am connecting to the server as root user. OK, once connected, just go to slash user to location on the right panel. On the left hand side, browse the location where you downloaded files from oracle.com. I have the Oracle software in a different location. Let me just browse to the software location. Yes. Now the first two files are the database files and I will just select them, drag those files onto the right hand panel. Great. Files copy has started. This will take some time to copy from Windows to Linux. Let us continue with other prerequisite steps until files are being copied. The next step is to install Oracle RDBMS package. Issue command yum install oracle-rdbms star. This will complete all the required prerequisites for installing Oracle. Make sure you have internet connection on your Linux machine before running this command. Just press Y and hit enter. 
once again Y and enter. Great, the package installation is done. Next, we have to change password for Oracle user. Type PASSWD Oracle. Give a new password. Confirm password. Great. We have to give full permissions on U01 and U02 to Oracle user. chown r Oracle o install slash U01 will issue same command for U02. You can check the folder permission by ls-ld slash U01 slash U02. We see both the folders are owned by Oracle user and O install group. Let us get inside U02 and check if the files are copied via WinSCP or not. ls-lrt. Okay, files are still being copied. Okay, now we have both the files copied. Let us unzip the first file using unzip utility. Please note, do not unzip both files at a time. Unzip them one by one only. Let us go ahead and unzip the second file. Unzip, give the second file name. Once both the files are unzipped, you will notice it will create a new folder in the same location with the name of database. Done. ls-lrt and we can see the new database folder. Let us give permissions on database folder to Oracle user. chown-r oracle o install and then star. Once again ls-lrt. Let us get inside the database folder. ls ls-lrt. We can see that all the files are owned by Oracle user. Now switch to Oracle user. Go to slash user2. ls. Get inside the database folder. ls-lrt. Here we have run installer which we will use to install Oracle 11G on Linux server. Let us start Xming as we will use graphical installation method. Let's take a duplicate session. Log in as Oracle user. Provide Oracle password. Now get inside slash u02 cd database folder. Now issue dot slash run installer to start the database installer in graphical mode. But make sure Xming is already started, otherwise GUI will not come up. Oh, we have an error with Oracle installation. Let's fix this. Error says, could not retrieve local node names. Just click on OK. Click on cancel. Switch to other putty terminal. Exit from the Oracle user to go back to root user. Now check the contents of this file, etc hosts file. We are missing the server hostname entry in the file. Copy the host name. Open etc host file with bi editor. Go to end of the file and first put your Linux machine IP 192.168.0.201. Hit tab and put machine host name. Again hit tab and give a short name to your machine. I put it as ogprod. Save and exit. Let's go back and start run installer again. And this time it should work fine. Great, our uninstaller has started. 
on the first screen just uncheck security update and click on next ignore the error skip software update click next choose install database software only click next single instance database installation next we'll go with the default language english enterprise edition next we'll go with the default locations next we'll go with the default inventory location next over here you can choose both the operating system groups as DBA and DBA now click next your run installer will perform prerequisite checks on your Linux server to see if there are any errors great you don't see any errors and this is the final summary of the installation make sure you review the final summary before installing the database check through all these parameters and click on install Oracle database software installation has started remember we are only installing the database software we are not creating any database right now okay guys so once the installation is done the run installer will prompt you to run few scripts on the same server where you install the Oracle database but as root user so here we have two scripts that we need to run as root user on the same server I have another terminal and I am already connected as root user on this terminal this is on the same server so let us execute slash u01 app aura inventory aura inst root.sh just execute the same scripts no extra command nothing u01 app oracle product 11.2.0 db home 1 root.sh enter enter done now go back to the run installer and click on OK. Great. Oracle database installation has been completed. Close.